Alrighty everyone, welcome back. It is now December 10th of 2023 and as you all know, Disney has been going through a very rough time as of late. We know that the board of directors are scrambling to really dive themselves into endless damage control from many of the box office failures. This of course includes Wish, The Marvels, Ant-Man 3, Indiana Jones 5, among others. And to top it all off, we have a lot of drama surrounding actress Rachel Zegler. Let's discuss. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you are new and like this video to see future updates. You can also find me at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. Now, the thing about Rachel Zegler, we talked about this, the Variety interview, which was specifically instructed by Disney, and how they are in a desperate strategy right now to pretty much repair her image after all the comments that she said about Snow White 1937 and everything related to Andrew Burnap's scenes quite possibly getting cut from Snow White 2025. Now, we know that this movie in particular is going to be one of the biggest box office failures by Disney, no matter how much damage control they embrace, no matter how many re-edits they actually face with this movie by director Mark Webb. However, to top things all off has a lot to do with Rachel Zegler taking a legal stance against Disney behind the scenes and exactly how some crucial updates surrounding this ongoing development is only getting worse for both Rachel Zegler and the Disney heads. So let's get into all of this. Now, one thing about this is that we know that Ziggler pretty much has no career moving onwards with Disney after multiple firings. Now, on top of that, with Rachel Ziggler actively involved in much drama with the higher-ups at Disney after getting forced to present well-behaved interviews starting off with Variety, one major development has to do with her taking, of course, legal action against those at Disney after she was fired from multiple projects. Now, as it turns out, one significant update to this ongoing struggle between Zegler and the Disney heads is that she is now gathering up with her team, which consists of her agent and manager, to prepare with a lawyer to battle against Disney after she believes that she was wrongfully fired from both the Pirates of the Caribbean reboot film, and a new animated film called Dream, which by the way goes into production next year. But it doesn't stop here when it comes to the projects that Zegler had lost. Surprisingly, she was also set up via a contract to have a multi-film deal for the Snow White story. There were plans to move forward with two sequels making the story into a full-fledged trilogy by director Mark Webb. Zegler was reportedly involved in the multi-film deal for Snow White that went south as Disney decided to first fire Zegler as there of course were brief plans to do some form of a recast afterwards for Snow White at the time. Now this in turn led to further complications and forced Disney to shut down the two sequels to Snow White. Disney made the call to shut down said sequels after Gal Gadot refused to return after drama on set of the Snow White 25 film. Now with Zegler pushing legal stances at Disney now, mainly over the Snow White multi-film deal falling apart where she was fired, the real push that made her move forward with all of this was recently of course the heads at Disney claimed that her firing was based on bad PR decisions and her inflammatory social media posts as well as everything revolving around Snow White. Something that Rachel Zegler claims was directly instructed by Disney as it turns out. Now the truth of who told who what to say is becoming more of a mystery at this point. Now let me just stop here quick guys before I get to the big conclusion is that we know that that Variety interview between uh, Bailey and Zegler was so cringe because of how forced it really was. Now, it is both very obvious when you watch it. We also know that behind the scenes, this is something that was set up between Disney and Variety. And they wanted Zegler to be affiliated with Bailey because we all know that Bailey pretty much is a well-behaved actress. Whether you love or hate the Little Mermaid remake by Disney, I myself do not like it for various reasons. Not just the fact of race swapping, but I just feel that they did a very poor job on the film, visually speaking at times, and the writing was really out of place here and there. Just my opinion, just my opinion. <laughs> but when you look at stuff like this, the fact that they go to that extra length of associating Rachel with Bailey just to make herself come across as being that nice person 
and you go back and you look at Rachel Zegler's social media posts at the time on Twitter, it goes to show you of how two-faced Rachel really is. Whether it's being instructed by Disney or not, it really is a disaster for the Snow White PR disaster itself. Getting, of course, repaired that's not going to in the end, in my opinion. Now, moving onwards here, on top of that, this is where things get even worse. With Rachel's only current job at Disney is promoting Snow White 25 and repairing her image. The struggles of this are rapidly increasing as Zegler does not want to keep this up for the long term until March of 2025. The Variety interview was forced upon Zegler to do this by the board of directors and Iger specifically as a desperate long term move to repair her image to turn Snow White into a better product by the time of release. Zegler's team and their plan to expedite their legal stance against Disney is something that is only creating more drama behind the scenes. And this is all mainly driven by the fact that Zegler had a contract with the multi-film Snow White deal. However, Rachel has so far only agreed to do interviews on good behavior in the short term and not in the long term, which is creating a bigger struggle for Disney right now and will result in Zegler losing her appearance at the world premiere if she keeps this up. Now, again, guys, like I said earlier, we know that Rachel is right up there with Brie Larson, Phoebe Waller-Bridge, etc. when it comes to how insufferable they really are. And the fact that Disney is going through all this trouble to kind of take away that element of her being insufferable, both as an actress and as a person, that just goes to show you how desperate Disney has become to save Snow White. I know a lot of you guys out there have been commenting that you would not be surprised or shocked if Disney decides to either delay this movie again or if they decide to cancel altogether by mid-2024. Because we know that they use the whole SAG strike and the writer's strike as, you know, a scapegoat as to why they delayed this movie when in reality it has a lot to do with alterations being made to the film and specifically fine-tuning Rachel Zegler's PR. It has a lot to do with that as well. We have a lot more to talk about that, by the way, in the days to come, so stay tuned as we gather more information on that. There's a lot of things coming with Rachel Zegler. So, I think at the end of the day, 2024, very empty year for Disney, 2025, it's going to be filled with these disasters. We got Captain America. We've got everything related to Blade 2025. We have, uh, of course, other projects that Disney is beginning to spew out right now. That's really not going to work at the end because we know that their DEI and ESG nonsense is pouring into all of this. Fantastic Four, another one that's in the works for 2025. All these Marvel releases are not going to be good, especially when setting things up for Phase 6. So overall, I would really love to hear what you all have to say about this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys later. Everybody.